Stanford researchers have a cool new derivative coming out of yeast. It's opium. The researchers, they're altering the genetic code of yeast to produce synthetic opioids. Well, according to the article in Science Magazine, stay with me, Nick, I know this is lengthy. Scientists, quote, engineered the microbes to express a medley of 21 genes, some from yeast themselves, as well as other plants, bacteria, even a rodent. By adding two additional genes, the engineers have also coaxed yeast, making hydrocodone. Now, this is most commonly used as a painkiller on the market. Basically, it's the same chemical family as morphine. Bioengineering produce professor Christina Smolke, she says it's the most complicated chemical synthesis ever engineered from yeast. This is exciting stuff here, but at the same time, so we're, we're, we're taking yeast and organically making heroin with it? What? I mean, is it going to be any healthier? Is it going to be less addictive? Healthier heroin. Well, that's, a, that's good <laughs> right there. I mean, we know in this country a lot of people get hooked on heroin because first they're hooked on the painkillers and then and heroin is this cheap street version of it, and then it leads to that. So I think that's a huge problem. So a lot of people could say, do we need any more forms of painkillers being on the market out there? Because we know it's They're all over the place, every commercial. Right. And you know, or you know, you can also look at it another way and say, well, what does this do for the global drug trade? For example, we look at Pakistan, Afghanistan, these countries that have all of these poppy fields that are, you know, uh, producing poppies for for heroin to be sold all around the world. A lot of them are linked to different Islamist groups. I mean, what does that mean for that? If maybe yeast might prove to be an even stronger, can better drug version, makers it could help. Take it. the take the opium making microbes and and produce them themselves for the mass market. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, I can see that happening. Also, do we really need more? opioids that are faster making, easier to get, and cheaper? I mean, no. I, I wouldn't think that we do. Now, these researchers, they're very brilliant, engineering a strain of yeast to produce an opioid. I mean, that's, that's, an, amazing, that's an amazing feat. This is no small feat here. On the flip side of this um, chemist that come up with this, perhaps they can reduce or even eliminate the side effects that opioids cause people. And let's not forget, there are a lot of people in pain that are legitimately in pain in this country that rely yeah. on these types of drugs just to be able to function and, and live. And I don't want to shortchange that, but at the same time, Oh my gosh. Yeah, but you know, another person might be quick to say, well, you know, here we are throwing all these people in jail for drugs. Meanwhile, we're just constantly coming out with these new versions of legal versions of these same right. exact drugs. So I'm with you. There's, there's that argument as well. So We'd love to know what you think at home about this complicated chemical synthesis being engineered from yeast and what they're doing with it. Please like on post those comments below about this story while you're at it. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel and, of course, subscribe to the LibTV2 for more.